find the idft of the given sequence using dif fft algorithm okay that is decimation in frequency fft algorithm so there is a sum so today that we are going to be see here so this is an inverse discrete fourier transforms so inverse discrete fourier transforms so idft so for an idft the step one which is going to be an we need to take an conjugate okay that is our step one so the step one is so first we have to take an a step one so always we have to write the steps even though if you are, are going to be very familiar in that steps so we have to write the steps for each and every exercise sums then only we can able to get that uh, maximum mark so step one what is a step one we need to take a conjugate of given sums so take a conjugate of x of k so take conjugate of x of k conjugate of x of k okay if you are getting conjugate of x of k what you are going to be get so you are going to be get x star of k equal to so according to your given sum 18 it will be present as 18 comma and then 1 minus j3 so it will be if you are going to be take and conjugate for real uh, imaginary things what you are going to be get 1 minus okay j3 comma 0 again the next one is 1 minus j3 if you are getting conjugate for that uh, imaginary parts what you are going to be get 1 plus j3 then okay One plus taking this one plus j three comma again ten will be present <coughs> again one plus which is there so what you are going to get one minus okay one minus j three comma zero comma okay and then one minus j three which is there so if you are getting conjugate you are going to be get one plus j3 1 plus j3 okay so this is x star of k which is in normal order 18 comma 1 minus j3 0 so instead of 1 minus we are getting plus 10 1 minus so here 0 and again 1 minus instead of 1 minus we are getting 1 plus so uh, we are getting anti uh, conjugates so this is x star of k so step 1 have been finished step 2 what is our step 2 we need to determine whether the question have been given in dft or sorry dit or dif so that we have to be identify step 2 proceed using proceed using read the question here what they asking using dif so they asking proceed using decimation in frequency so we need to solve using decimation in frequency this is our second step so for our second step so dif what is the procedure for dif so we know that if it is an dif your n is equal to number of sequence n is equal to 8 and then illa irukum ana illa illa As the number of sequence which is going to be an eight here, total sequence is eight, and then DIF. So DIF means what is the procedure? First we have to be frame eight point sequence. Okay, so eight point sequence. then we have to frame four point sequence then we have to frame two point sequence okay so like this we have to going to be draw the network diagram so before drawing that we will write the tutorial factor values so we know the tutorial factor values for all this values of 8 point and 4 point and 2 point just we we will recall the tutorial factors values and then 
we will start to procedure the draw the diagrams so here i am writing all the tudel factor values okay in the step 2 so tudel factor values tudel factor so straight away we will write the all the tudel factor formulas so what is the tudel factor formula if it is 8 point how many tudel factor will be there so there will be four tudel factor will be there for an 8 point sequence there will be n four tudel factor will be there okay so what are all the tudel factor values so omega 8 power 0 what is the value of omega 8 power 0 that is 1 and then omega 8 power 1 So what is the value for omega 8 power 1? 0.707 minus j 0.707. Is it right? And then next to the factor value omega 8 power 2. So what is the value for omega 8 power 2? That is minus j. Then the to the factor value for omega 8 power 2. So that is Minus zero point seven zero seven minus j zero point seven zero seven. So that is the total factor value for eight point sequence. We are getting four sequence, and then for four point, so we are going to be get two total factor values. What are the total factor values? Omega four power zero. So the value is one, and then omega. 4 power 1 the value is going to be minus j then for two point sequence so we are going to be get the total factor values is only one total factor will be get omega 2 power 0 which is equal to 1 so these are the total factor values after substituting the formulas regarding n equal to 8 we are getting this total factor values so these things we have been uh, done lot of exercise sums so today that we are solved in directly we are writing the answers the next what we are going to be done according to dif we are going to be draw the structure diagrams so the formula here is the formula for to determine the capital letter a is small letter a plus b okay that's all so here a minus b into the total factor value omega n power Okay, so always this radix two algorithm will be the same for DIF. Anything we are solving DFT or IDFT, the same formula which is going to be follow here for DIF decimation in frequency. Okay. So what is the order for normal order? What is the input? Your input is 18 comma 1 minus J3, 0 comma 1 plus J3. So for this. <coughs> writing that input sequence the input is 18 the second input is 1 minus j3 and the third uh, second is sequence is 0 and then 1 plus j3 the normal order the next is 10 comma 1 minus j3 comma 0 comma 1 plus j3. So this is the order. So the next order is 10, 1 minus j3 and then 0, 1 plus j3. Yes. Okay. Fine. So now we are going to be proceed according to that DIF. So according to DIF radix two algorithm. We are going to be proceed. So this is a small uh, input A, and the second input is B. So for this capital letter E and capital letter B that we are going to be get. So here the first sequence is A value is 18, and the second sequence is 4. So separately we can write it here. For here the first sequence A value is 18, and B value is 10. Ten, yes, correct. And then total factor value omega eight power zero. So omega eight power zero. What value is one? So what you are going to be get? 
So for this, we are getting 28. capital U S. 18 plus 10 S 28. And then P value is 18 minus 10 is 8. So into 1 is 1. So for the first sequence, you are going to be get the value here is 28. Small letter A character capital letter A 28. For small letter B directly you are getting the capital letter B value according to the formulas 8. That's right? Correct. Then for the second sequence, 1 minus second input is 1 minus J3 A value and the B value is again 1 minus J3. So, solving here, where A value is 1 minus J3 and the B value is 1 minus J3. What about the total factor value? Omega 8 power 1. What is the total factor value? 0 0.707 minus j 0 0.707 so according to the formula what you are going to be get expanding a equal to 1 minus j3 plus 1 minus j3 that is a plus b is it right so what you are going to be get so 1 plus 1 is 2 okay 1 plus 1 is 2 minus j6 for a value is 2 minus j6 similarly for b so for b a minus b according to the formula a minus b into total factor day see the formula here a plus b a minus b into total factor only total factor will be present in b only okay Ah. So here, according to this, A minus B. A minus B means A value is 1 minus J3. And then if minus, so minus 1, minus into minus plus will be there, plus J3 into your total factor value, 0 0.707 minus J, 0 0.707. Okay, what you are going to be get here? So Zero. this minus m plus 1 minus j plus j will be get 0 so 0 into your total factor value also it will be get 0 so therefore a b value is going to be 0 okay a value is 2 minus j6 b value is 0 so here 2 minus j6 or b value is 0 okay if it is zero, then the next step is very, very easiest manner. Okay, we go for the third step. Your A value is zero, B value yeah. is zero. So simply we can put zero. So zero plus zero is zero. Zero minus zero is zero into total factor also zero. <clears throat> the third, last fourth sequence, A value is one plus J3 and B value is one plus J3. Plus so for this, uh, yes, that's all. Simply we can simply we can call this is a 2 plus j6 will be there and the b also will be get 0 is it right yes so directly we will solve here write it here 2 plus j6 and here also 0 is it right then so the first sequence have been finished so first eight point sequence have been finished so the output of the eight point sequence which is going to be the input of your Four point sequence that is the second sequence. So, here if you are solving the four point sequence, your A value is 28 and the B value is 0. So, what you are going to be get 28 plus 0, 28. So, here the formula according to the formula A plus B is 28 plus 0 is 28 and 28 minus 0 again 28 into total factor also it will be 1. So, you are getting 28. Is it right? Then A value is 2 minus J6 and the B value is 2 plus J6. So we will solve here for a four point sequence. We will solve here A value is 2 minus J6 and the B value is what my B value? 2 plus J6. 2 plus J6. And total factor value omega 
4 power 1. What is the total factor value? Minus j. Okay. So according to the formula, a equal to, capital A equal to, a plus b. So 2 minus j6 plus 2 plus j6. So your minus j6 and plus j6 will be get cancelled. So directly you are going to be get a equal to 4. Similarly for b equal to a minus b 2 minus j6 minus 2 minus j6. So here into total factor value. What is the total factor value? Minus j. That is the total factor value. So here a plus 2 and minus 2 will be get cancelled. So then what we are going to be get minus j6 12 into minus j. Is it right? Minus j 12 into minus j. So what you are going to be get minus into minus plus j into j j square minus 12. Minus 12. That's right. That's all. Your b value is minus 12. So directly we are going to be write this value. A value is 4 and b value is minus 12. So here a value is 4 and b value is minus 12. Okay. Here. So the next four point sequence here, the A value is 8, B value is 0. So 8 plus 0 is 8. 8 minus 0 also, it will be 8. So the second sequence is 0. So simply we will substitute as 0 and then 0. Okay, the second stage of output also have been completed. So the output of the second stage will be the input of your third stage. The third stage is two point sequence. So for this two point sequence, we are going to be write that values. A value is 28, B value is 4. Total factor value is 1. So 28 plus 4 is 32. Is it right? Yes. So 28, 4 value is, it is 32. Then 28 minus 4 is, we are getting 24. 24 into 1, 24. So the answer is 24. Here, 28 plus minus 12. What you are going to be get? 28 plus minus 12. So the answer is going to be 16. And then here 28 minus minus 12. So 40 into 1 is 40. The answer is 40. Okay. Then 8 plus 0. 8. 8 minus 0. 8. 8 into 1, 8. Again, 8 plus 0, 8. 8 minus 0, 8. 8 into 1, 8. Okay. Yes. This is the third stage output. Okay, this is the third stage output according to the DIF, according to the decimation in frequency. Okay. So, decimation in frequency, first stage, second stage and third stage, the output of this third stage. Okay, decimation in frequency procedure have been completed. So then, according to the IDFT, the output of your third stage is, which is going to be in the form of, how it is going to be represent? It is going to be in the form of capital letter N into X star of, okay, zero. That is X star of N. So your output of the stage is, which is in, bit reversal order is that right according to the dif your input is in normal order output should be in bit reversal order then this 24 which is going to be shown as n into x star of 4 bit reversal order so this is in the form of n into x star of 2 and then this is n into x star of 6 and then here n into x star of 1 and this 8 will be represented as n into x star of 5 and this is the form of n into x star of um, 3 
the last sequence n into x star of sub. Okay, so it is in bit reversal order zero four two six one five three seven. So it is in bit reversal order. So what we have to done? We have to be change the bit reversal order into an normal order. Okay, we are going to be change this bit reversal order into normal order. Before that, we will write it this sequence in this form. So the third step, step three. So step three, which is our output, which is in the form of okay, our output in the form of output is in the form of n into x star of n. Okay, so therefore n. Into X star of n equal to. So you are going to be write the sequence values: thirty-two, comma twenty-four, comma sixteen, comma forty. Okay. Thirty-two, twenty-four, sixteen, forty. And then the last sequence is eight, eight. H, H. Okay. Then the next step is a step four. Okay, next step is done. Sir. Okay. Sir. Right away. So this is third stage output: thirty-two, twenty-four, sixteen, forty. Thirty-two, twenty-four, sixteen, forty. Eight, 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 eight. Okay. 32, 24, 16, 40, 88, Finished. So this is in the form of n into x star of n. So step four. Step four. What we need to be divide the output by n. So divide the x n into so divide the n into x star of n. Okay. So divide this. n into x star of n by n okay what is n we know eight. that n equal to 8 yes right correct so we know that we know that yes correct we know that n equal to 8 so if you are substituting divided by 8 here means you are getting x star of n so therefore X. So I write it here itself. So therefore, x star of n, which is going to be equal to, if you substitute uh, divided by eight means thirty-two divided by eight, what you are going to be get? Thirty-two divided by eight, which is going to be n four. Then twenty-four divided by eight three is three. three. Two, five. Yes, yes, yes. Small, small, small changes here. So what? Uh, the, uh, the previous step, step three, which is in thirty-two, uh, twenty-four. This thirty-two, twenty-four. Bit reversal order. Sixteen, twenty-eight, eight, 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 which is in bit reversal order. Changes, change this bit reversal order in normal order. Okay. Change this bit reversal order in normal order. Then your output will be. Uh, Very easiest manner. So this is in bit reversal order. Okay, this is in bit reversal order. So changes in normal order. So therefore, therefore, your n into x star of n, which is going to be equal to so 32, comma. So this is zero two four six one. So thirty two comma eight comma and then fourth sequence. What is that second sequence? What is the second sequence? Where is sixteen? Second sequence is sixteen. Okay, second sequence is sixteen comma. 
ஒரு So this is in normal order. Now it is in normal order. Normal order. Sir, okay. I have doubt, sir. What is it? Sir. And yes. The previous line, sir. And the two point equals to. Ah, sir. Except. That is 28, then, sir. Minus 12, sir. Which one? Okay. This is minus 12. Ah, okay. 28, 4, 28 minus 12. Ah, okay. Ma. Okay. Okay, this is in normal order. For this normal order, so if you are going to be divide the sequence by 8, 8 will divide upon the binaka, what you are going to be get? 32 divided by 8, 4. Then 8 divided by 8, 1, comma. 16 divided by 8, 2, comma. 8 divided by 8, 2. 1 comma 24 divided by 8 3 okay comma 8 divided by 8 1 comma 40 divided by 8 we're getting 5 comma 8 divided by 8 we're getting 1 okay this is the output sequence so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so total 8 sequence that you are going to be get here so but it is in the form of x star of n so step 4 have been finished then go for the last step what is the last step for step 5? We need to take the conjugate for the x star of n. So this is the x step step 5. Take anti-conjugate for x star of n. Anti-conjugate for x star of n. So therefore, you are going to indicate Therefore, you are going to be get x of n. Okay, therefore, you are going to be get x of n, which is going to be equal to. So, here, only real values which is present as there is no imaginary values. If it is imaginary value, only mean, uh, if you are getting conjugate, it will be changes in the minus sign or plus sign. So, only real value which is presented. So, simply we are taking that anti conjugate value, the same value will be presented 4, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, and then 5, 1. Okay, so this is that your final answer. So, this is the final answer for your IDF sequence. So, this is x of n after taking anti conjugate. So this is your final answer of inverse discrete Fourier transform. So that's all. This is the five steps which have been followed for IDFT. Okay. So, so the first step is we need to take and conjugate for the given sum. Then second step is we need to proceed using DAT or DIF. For this sum, they need the given is DIF, decimation in frequency. So decimation in frequency that we are going going to proceed so in decimation in frequency what is the procedure first we need to go for 8 point sequence then 4 point and then for 2 point before drawing the network diagram we will uh, calculating all the total factor values 8 point 4 point and 2 points and then we are drawing the entire structure diagram the first sequence input is normal order your output will be in bit reversal order okay your output which is going to be in bit reversal order and the input which is going to be in normal order then the output of your first stage will be the input of your second stage then then output of your second stage will be that input of your third stage the final output which is going to be in the form of 
n into x star of n so the third step we are going to follow here so the output which is going to be in the form of n into x star of n so this is in bit reversal order so this bit reversal order is changes into an normal order so that is the output form n into x star of n so divide this output divided by n okay so n is equal to 8 here n is equal to 8 so by dividing this 8 32 divided by 8 8 divided by 8 we are getting that final sequence answer here then the last step step 5 we are going to be take an anti conjugate for that x star of n then you are getting the final answer x of n is equal to 4 comma 1 comma 2 comma 1 comma 3 comma 1 comma 5 comma 1 okay so you can see here so this is your previous class given sum so previous class and amount of assignment sum or some parang of this is a given sum previous class 4 comma 1 comma 2 comma 1 comma 3 comma 1 comma 5 comma 1 so this is your output sequence okay this is your output sequence today we have been solved either number x of n given sequence here to and we determine this output so for this dft but today in this session we solved idft okay